Hello, it's Coach Charlie with the TAC Basketball Academy. Have you ever been asked to break down game film? Have you ever looked at your game film? Do you even understand the importance of breaking down game film? Well, in this video today, I'm going to show you exactly how to break down basketball game film and why it's crucial to your basketball development. Let's start. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to break down basketball game film and why you should care. Then, I'm going to show you one of the top ways youth basketball players can take their basketball game to the next level by watching film. See, I did this when I was younger, and I stumbled upon a gold mine. I didn't even realize it, but what it ended up helping me becoming is it helped me become one of the best players in the country. Last, I'm going to show you exactly how the pros study basketball film. Okay, let's talk about the importance of breaking down game film. Let's say you and I are about to go into a practice session. But before we go into the practice session, we want to talk about finishing. You probably came to me and said, hey, coach, I've been struggling on finishing around the rim. Hey, do you have any tips for me or as we go into a workout? So instead of me coming up with some random drills we can, we can work on, which I have plenty of those, how about we actually sit down, watch game film, so we can then strategize around how I can help you get better at finishing around the rim. So here we go. We're gonna probably put up a clip. This clip right here is five minutes. We're not gonna watch all five minutes as I'm just kind of giving you demo purposes here about what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna talk about teaching you to be more crafty around the rim, uh, what I call it having three good finishes every time you go into a basketball game. That's gonna help you finish at a high percentage, okay? So as we look at the first clip, you're gonna see a player go to the left in the finish on his right. We're gonna also talk objectively speaking. Basketball player is going to take off to the left with the outside hand, end up switching in the air, right, for whatever reason to him, switching to the inside hand to finish. Let's watch the clip, right? So here it is. He's attacking the basket. He went hard to the basket, end up finishing with his inside hand. As I back that up, then I'll start asking questions. Okay, why do you think he switched? Why do you think he finished with his inside hand, right? Why didn't he just finish off with one foot? Right, so let's also talk about that. As you see, he went to the basket. That ended up being a two-foot finish, okay? He wanted to finish balanced. See, that's a principle. You want to finish balanced. When, you, when someone's on your side, you can't break their stride by changing speeds. You want to finish off two feet. That's a principle. That's why breaking down game film is important because you get a chance to see that. I felt he could have finished off one foot, right? Right, but just watching this, he did the right thing by finishing off of two because he was in traffic. And then he had the changing hands in the air to really throw off his defender that was trying to contest and block his shot. And now you see he's by himself. Look at that. He's by himself. The defender who contested his shot is still on the ground. And if we really back this up, he's going to leave, as you notice, he's going to leave his primary defender in the dust. That's what we call you want to win the first two steps. When you have that basketball in your hand, you want to win the first two steps when you get to the basket to attack it as hard as you can. So see, again, breaking down film. See, there's, I came here talking about finishing. Notice I'm talking about now, how do you actually beat your opponent off the dribble? You want to win the first two steps. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to process that if I'm just watching you mess up your finishes and you say hey coach we got to work on finishing i won't be able to process that but we actually watch game film look at what has come up and i can give you another teaching point so when you have the, the ball in your hand you want to win the first two steps and do exactly what this guard did watch this went right by went right by his defender who's on his side and at this point this is where basketball iq comes in See, right here is where he made the right decision to finish off two feet because he's finishing in traffic. Look at what his teammate's doing for him. Here's a little mini blockout. That's legal. That's not illegal, right? He's making the only person who can test, the only player who can really contest the ball helmet at the rim is this player here, but his teammate's doing a really good job of sealing and creating a lane. So watch what happens. Right here, he ends up being by himself. The person who could have contested his shot or blocked it was blocked out. His teammate did a good job. 
Now he's by himself at the rim. How can you talk to your teammates about doing things like this illegally? See, again, breaking down film, not only did we see how you can become a better ball handler by winning the first two steps and blowing by your primary defender, you can have teammates do things like this legally. Because guess what? There was no foul at all. Hey, pretty cool, right? Watch a game from with Coach Charlie. Not bad. Let me know in the comments below. Before I show you one of the top ways youth basketball players can take their game to the next level using game film, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out videos daily to help you develop into a premium basketball player. Don't miss out on the content. Click the subscribe button. Now I'm going to share with you one of the top ways youth basketball players can take their game to the next level by using game film. First, they can mimic a move they want to get better at. I call it imitate the greats. This is exactly what I did, not even realizing the importance behind it. I would watch a game, sometimes during uh, halftime or commercial breaks, I would actually mimic, I would copy that particular move. I couldn't wait to go outside and try that move, right? And sometimes those moves, guess what? They stuck with me. That's why I call it imitate the greats. And I want to give you a little saying I have. Imitate the greats. Steal their traits. Their traits in this case is what? Their moves. And become better than them. Imitate the greats. Steal their traits. And become better than them. Remember that nothing is original. Every basketball move that we've seen, that we're watching, it's all been done. Be it's all been done before. So I want to add now to that story I talked about, right? When I would watch a move on TV, then right then and there, I would look to copy it. I would, I would mimic it. I would pretend uh, I had a ball. It was a shot. It was a move. Whether it was on defense, I would just sit back and mimic stuff all the time. I would talk about it all the time. So I want to give you a story. Quick story. 11 years of age. I remember watching one of the best players ever to have played the game, Michael Jordan, watching his film. It was a documentary, right? You know, and, and, and I remember going to the elementary uh, that I went to that had seven foot rims and imitating every dunk I could, right? Seven foot rims, so you, you look like a, a hero. You can dunk any kind of way you want to, right? Sometimes we can put chairs out there and dunk. I don't know what happened a year later. A year later, at 12 years of age, I was able to dunk on a 10 foot hoop. I can tell you, I feel I was inspired by watching game film of Michael Jordan. That's just my story and I'm sticking to it. See, in order for your intention to work, you must be intent at staring at who you wanna become like. And what I mean by staring, watching, right? With hawk's eyes. Notice I didn't say looking or glancing. I mean staring. I can tell you every player I want to be like as a tall guard, I stared at. Got a funny story. I'm going to try to keep it PG. Funny story, one of my favorite players of all time had a chance to actually work out with him in the summer times. And I remember watching him so hard. One day he looked at me and said, what are you looking at? And I was not only starstruck, I couldn't believe who I was watching on TV. And making every which way he shot the basketball, I was actually playing with and developing my game with. So I was not only staring at who I want to become, I guess I got a little weird with it, right? But I didn't care. You have to imitate the greats, steal their traits, and emulate them. Say, to sum all this up, you must become a sponge. And a sponge I call it S3. Not only do you want to steal it, not only do you want to soak it up, you want to sponge it up, right? You want to take as much as you can by watching film Soak this stuff up, the ideas, the secrets, right? The concepts, the technique, and then make it yours. You got to learn to steal without an apology because none of this stuff is new under the sun. And that's how you become an outstanding basketball player because you're trying to customize your own identity into this game. Now that you know why breaking down game film is important and how to do it, I want to help you put this into practice. Choose a professional basketball player you admire and comment below with their name. By commenting, you are holding yourself accountable to finding one clip with them in it and studying one of their go-to moves 
over and over again. So come on, drop that name in the comment. Let me know. Now I'm going to show you how all the pros study basketball game film. They look for mistakes. See, they want to know what they're doing wrong and immediately they want to have a solution because see what they're all about is they're all about finding strength. See, they're all about strength. See, they're all about strengthening their See, they're all about solutions and strengths, right? You must make correction a part of your daily process. If you don't, what will end up happening? If you're not getting corrected, as soon as someone says something to you, you might take something personal. It's not that you're sensitive. You're not used to it. See, a pro, they're used to being corrected. And that's what they want because they make it a part of their daily process of getting better. All right, let's talk about this. We not only watch film, we broke down game film. OK, we talked about the highs and lows, how you want to add correction into your work, um, how you want to add correction into your daily uh, process like pros do to get better. Now, this is how we finish off, pun intended, watching film and reviewing film, breaking down film. I want to give you notes, add notes, not just watch this stuff, break the stuff down, write it. When you think it, ink it. Put it somewhere, put it, make it real, okay? Now, these are some notes that I may leave you. If we were, if we were, here are some notes I may leave you. If I'm breaking down game film, we're talking about you want to become a better finisher at the rim. You say you want to become a better finisher at the rim. You lose balance when you go to the basket. You don't know when to finish off one foot or finish off two feet. We broke down the importance of finishing off two feet, okay? I, I showed you, right? Documentation beats conversation, so I'm not just telling you. I'm actually showing you. I showed you what to do, and I showed you what not to do. So now how we close out that film session, here are the notes that either I want you to write down, okay? To me, it's just something about pen and pad, okay? If you want to copy and paste it, by all means. I want you to place this in your basketball notebook. Put this somewhere. OK, and also time stamp it, put a time and date on it so you can go back and review this stuff. But here it is. I might type up something like this here. This is a sample of what I will send to a player after a film session, because I want to be a part of your solution at getting better at finishing around the rim. This is how we close out a strong breakdown film session of basketball. And like I always say, keep attacking. Now that you know how to break down basketball game film, how would you like to have a guide that covers all the must-know basketball principles and what situations to apply them? Well, you're in luck. If you click the link in the description of this video below, you can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it, and like always, keep attacking.